Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. In this video, we are talking about how to get a defined and chiseled jawline, according to many sources, also attractive jawline. I think about two to three weeks ago, I have come across a video which was something like, how was I able to mew or my mewing transformation? I don't remember, but I was like, are we seriously gonna talk about cat noises in here? But luckily, it wasn't like that. It was more about just putting your tongue to the roof of your mouth and making sure you don't have an under chin. As a result, you will have a defined and chiseled jawline. And I don't know if that's true or not, I haven't done myself, but I did do some digging and some research. Now I have watched a couple of videos and also I did my research when it comes to scientific stuff. And the bottom line is yes, mewing is helpful. It can actually help you and benefit you if you, I don't know, naturally have like um, chubby or bigger cheeks. So mewing can help you with getting more attractive jawline, but my question was, is it that effective? And my bet would be no, because there are a couple of factors that we have to consider b before jumping into the conclusions of how to achieve, let's say, a defined jawline. And one of them is gonna be genetics. Now, genetics are gonna determine a lot of stuff on physical appearance. It's gonna determine how fast or how slow you're gonna build muscle. It's gonna determine how successful of an athlete or NBA or football player you're gonna be. So when it comes to genetics, you can't really argue that much. Also after genetics, you have puberty. Now, before puberty, most likely you have more chubby, let's say not defined jawline. And after people tend to, especially guys tend to, you know, get more testosterone, all these new hormones. Okay, so now that we got out of the way, puberty and genetics, let's talk real stuff. Mewing can help, but there are a couple of things that I think will help even more than mewing to get a defined jawline. Now, very first thing would be to consciously control your mouth or the position of your mouth. You know, there are people who always keep their mouth open and look, nothing wrong with that. But if you're gonna do that, your mouth or let's say your jaw is gonna be out of control because you're not controlling, which means your tongue and all the muscles over here they are not controlled by anything. So how do you even expect to get a defined jaw on if you're not even controlling and activating those muscles? So some people just be like, like this. Like they don't control the position of their mouth. Instead, what you should do is always keep your mouth closed, which will mean your tongue is pressing the roof of your mouth, which automatically means you're kind of mewing. If you close your mouth, it's not only about the, you know, muscles over here or here or here. It's more about the muscles over your face, all over your face and even your body. Like some neck muscles and face muscles, they do affect how chiseled your jawline is gonna be. Now right after that, what you can do is to exercise your neck muscles. Everything from here affects everything over there, right? So what you have to do is you have to work on your voice, you have to work on your neck muscles because everything is interconnected. If you click the top right corner, there's gonna be a video that I did earlier which shows you how to exercise your voice and how to get a deeper voice if you naturally have very high-pitched voice. So the bottom line is if you exercise the neck muscles over here, what it's gonna do is Basically, it's gonna also train the muscles over here, over here, over here. All those muscles are gonna affect each other. But look, everything that I've said so far up until this point is not really gonna be helpful until you do this one thing. This one thing is gonna determine how much of a chiseled and defined jawline you're gonna have. And that one thing is gonna be decreasing the body fat percentage. The fact of the matter is you have muscles everywhere in your body. You have six packs, you have muscles over here. It's just everywhere in your body. But most of the times those muscles are beneath the fat layer. Now what you have to do is you have to decrease the fat percentage in your body. That will reveal automatically the muscles that you have here and will create a more structured and attractive jawline. In fact, so I did something like a body analysis test or something like that. And over here, I think, yeah, over here. Let me just pull it over here so that you can see. You can see that my body fat percentage was 11. 11.4 to be precise. So since then probably I have increased it until 12. If you get your body fat percentage down to those numbers, you will automatically have a more defined jawline. Now I'm gonna pull up a photo of me, let's say more or less two years ago. That was me when I was bulking and I was a bit heavier than I am right now, which meant that I had more fat in my face, in my cheeks. And that's why I was looking a bit more chubby. That can be also a result of you doing something like a 
dirty bulk when you're not really trying to track everything you're just eating to gain weight and build muscle but that's a topic for another video the bottom line is that if you want to get a defined and chiseled jawline you should aim to decrease the body fat percentage and that's gonna ensure that you have a defined jawline now obviously mewing and all these exercises are helpful but you know if you do one thing and you expect results it's not really gonna be productive and effective. It's a combination of a lot of things that you do. It's gonna be what you do in the kitchen, the food that you eat, the exercises, basically what kind of body fat percentage you have. Is it high, is it low? If it's something more than 15%, probably your abs are not gonna be visible. Just like your muscles over here, your chin is gonna be more chubby and that's just the way it is. If you have a lower body fat percentage, obviously it's gonna show more of your muscles and you will be more lean and toned. Okay, I think we got it settled. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you in the next one.